Hi, this is Stacy Phillips, and this is my video log from Monday, December 2nd, 2013. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I ran 10 miles yesterday. 10.3 miles I ran yesterday as part of my uh, marathon training. I am up to my long run day is 8 miles, um, but I kind of set it up yesterday to give myself the option of running 10 if I felt like it. So um, I gave myself that option and I did. I ran 10.3 miles and I felt great. So um, I want to put a disclaimer on this that um, I am not doing the 5-in-1 presently. Um, I am in transition. So um, 10 miles running is not supported on the calories that the 5-in-1 provides the weight loss phase. So please don't try this at home if you are in the weight loss phase of our program. Um, I am in transition so I uh, am adjusting my calories accordingly uh, you know as per the transition guide and I'm just really excited. So um, but something struck me yesterday. It, it, I was looking at my training schedule and I had not gone out yet. I was getting my, my clothes on, getting my shoes on, you know, getting my workout gear on. And um, I spend a little bit of time contemplating things when I do that because I take my time. I don't, I don't rush and I don't rush out the door. Um, I, I kind of view it as one of my little rituals is getting my, all of my gear on, getting prepared adequately. Um, but I was looking at my training schedule and I saw that, you know, of course, I had eight miles. I knew that already, that I had eight miles on the schedule. I was uh, dreading it, actually, because... Last week, I did 6.9 miles. I was supposed to do 6 miles. I did 6.9 miles, and I felt awful. Um, that was that. I don't know why. Just my body hasn't hadn't trained to that or whatnot. I'm not sure, but I felt a little nauseous. I felt like sleeping the rest of the day. Um, I, I felt awful. So I was thinking, oh, my gosh, if I feel that way after 6.9 miles, what am I going to feel at eight? You know, am I going to be able to do this? Is what I was thinking. So, um, as I got out the door, I just trusted the plan. I trusted the training schedule because I have been logging the miles. I've been, you know, between the last week and this week, I, I ran three miles on Tuesday. I ran five miles on Thursday and the three or four miles on Friday. So, you know, I had been running the miles in between that I'm supposed to run um, with, with rest days in between. And so I've been doing the work, but in my mind, I'm thinking eight miles. I, I don't, oh, I don't know. So I went, I just, I set out to do it and I started running and it felt really great. So, and I found that I could. Um, and so I, it was just a kind of a lesson for me in just trusting, trusting the program, trusting the training program, knowing that when I need the when I need the endurance, I'm going to have it because I've laid a good foundation uh, along the way, and I've built a habit of of enduring and and a habit of of keeping to my schedule. So I thought that's so similar to what we do uh, in the weight loss phase. Well, in all phases of our program, starting with the weight loss phase, um, we we have a schedule. We have we have a plan. You know, somebody else put it together for us, and we are following it. Um, so we have to trust them that that it will do what they say it's supposed to do. And whether we believe it will do that or not, if we do that, we do get the results. If, if we do the work, if we follow the plan, whatever we believe about it. So when I, when I went off on my run yesterday, I wasn't sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure I believed that I could run eight miles that day. But I trusted the plan. I trusted the schedule. I, I said, well, this is what comes today. <laughs> so I, I got to do it. So I did it. Um, and I found that I was ready for it. So, you know, if you're in if you're in the weight loss phase of our program and you're getting close to your goal and if you're uh, at all afraid of transition or if you're, you know, not sure that, that it'll work for you or, you know, any of this kind of thing, trust the foundation that you've laid in, in, in the weight loss phase. Trust the plan, trust the people who wrote the plan um, to know that if you do this, then this will happen. So I found that to be true in 
in my training for the marathon, and I have found that to be true in my plan, my eating plan. So, um, yeah, trust the plan. Know that if you do what is written, this and so will happen. And um, to be honest, I've not met one person, not one of my personal clients or anybody else's clients, who that who has not had results um, when they follow the plan. So. Follow the plan, do the work. There's really no substitute for doing the work. Um, that's another thing I found out yesterday. I have been laying the foundation. I have been running the miles. I've been logging the miles. Um, and there's no substitute for it. You know, I, I, there's no shortcut to, to running eight miles. I mean, I can run more than eight miles if I want, but there's no shortcut to running. You have to get the shoes on. You have to get out the door. And you have to run eight miles worth of steps. There's no shortcut and there's no shortcut to get the results I want either. Um, I can't show up wishing and hoping and longing to be able to run a marathon. I can't show up on the day of the marathon not having prepared for it, not having done the work uh, and, and expect that I'm going to run a marathon. Um, it's the same with, with becoming healthy. It's hard work and there's no substitute for the hard work. We actually have to do the work. As much as we wish and we hope and we long for, uh, for, for getting to our goal, we're not going to get there unless we do the work. So it does take action, and hope is not a strategy. Uh, hope is wonderful, and we can latch on to that, but we have to have a strategy and, and that goes along with that hope. And then we have to implement that strategy. We have to follow it. We have to do the work, and there's no substitute for the work. Whether it's hard or easy, it's work, and there's no skipping it. There's no shortcut. There's no substitute. So if you are ready to uh, get healthy in the new year, let's start now. Well, don't wait till Christmas. Don't don't even think about waiting till Christmas. Christmas is one day uh, in in the next thirty. Um, you don't want to wait. If you have a desire to get healthy, give me a call or email me. My email is Stacy Michelle Phillips. S T A C Y M I C H E L L E. P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S at gmail.com and we'll get you on the road to optimal health. Um, just a note, if you already are in the system and already do have a health coach, reconnect with them. They would be pleased and just thrilled to assist you on your journey. Uh, but I do only take uh, new clients that are do not currently have health coaches that are not in the system. So I'm a certified health coach and I want to help you get healthy. So Talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.